Hey everyone, Louis here from the CS team. Today I'm going to talk about two incredibly helpful features of the platform. The first one is join, which is an SQL functionality that brings in uh, records from reference tables to your query for filtering this data. And the second one is an add-on, uh, which works like a GraphQL API request, uh, also bringing in records from reference tables, but this time the goal is to return all the data you need in one single API request. Today I'm going to explain when it's best to use a join and when it's best to use an add-on. To start, I'm going to show you how the data is set up in my database. I have here a user table that has a table reference to the company table. This is the company table, very simple. And I have a products table that also has a table reference to the company table. And we can see that each company has many different products. So I started by making a simple query to the users table, returning all the records. And we can see here that we have that about uh, the users and we have one field that is the ID of the company, but we don't have any additional data about the company and their products. So let's say that my project requires filtering uh, this data using columns from different tables, such as the user table, the company table, and the product table. So let me show you how you can do that. So here in the settings of the query records in the filter tab, we have two options. The first one is to create an actual expression for the query. And the second one here in the pencil icon is to join a different table to this expression. So here, let's start by creating a join with the company table. And here we have uh, the possibility of setting three different types of joins that I'm going to explain in a minute. But first we have to create a conditional to define which column is the same in both uh, tables. So here in the user table, we have a column that is the company ID that is the same of the company's table ID. Good. So we created our first join. Let's go ahead and create our second join to bring over the data from the products table. So here in the products table, we need to add a conditional, but since we don't have any direct reference from the user's table with the product's table, you can use a column from the company's table. So here in the products, we have a company ID, which is the same of company ID. Good. And now that we have created our joins, I'm going to explain the difference between inner left and right join. And the difference is in the records that are brought over to this query. In an inner join, we only bring records that are populated in the column that connects both tables. In our case here is the company ID. And we can see that this record for leave is not populated. So this record is simply not there. Let's go ahead and test it. So if I search here for the username Olivia, we can see that it's not there. But if we search for Mary, now we have a result. And to understand what is a left and right join, you need to understand which table is on the left side and which table is on the right side. So in my case, I'm querying all the records from the users table. So this table is on the left side. And the joins being made with the company table. So the company table is on the right side. So what the inner join does is return all the records from the left side table, which is user in our case, regardless if the field that is the reference is populated. So in a left join, the record with the name Olivia is found. So if you go ahead and test it, we see that we find the record of Olivia, even though there is no company in the table reference field. So the right join is exactly the opposite. So it will return all the records from the company table, even though there is no ID in the reference column in the left table. 
For example, in the company table, we have an ID number one that the name is Meta, but we don't have any reference in our left table. In our case, it's our user table. But if you go ahead and search for a company named Meta, I run and I find this record, even though there's no reference in the query that I'm using from the users table. So that's when add-ons come in handy. So if you want to only display this data, that's the way to go. So if you don't have anything like, um, like this, for example, I am using an expression to filter using a column in the users table and another column in the company's table and another column from the products table. So you probably don't need a join, you need an add-on. So if you want to only display data from reference tables, you can come here to the settings of the query records in the output tab. Here you can uh, click on add-on. And here we have to make sure that uh, we are providing the column that is uh, present in both tables. In my case here is company uh, underscore ID. So I'm going to create an add-on to the company's table. Each user has only one company. So I'm going to set as a single item. Next, create an add-on. Good. And now, as we don't have a direct reference from the users table, I am going to click here because here is in the same hierarchy of the company uh, add-on here. And I'm going to create an add-on with the products of that company. Since we have a list of products, now I'm going for list of items. And here I have to define what is the column that is common for both tables. In my case, here is the company underscore ID. Next, create an add-on and boom, it's done. So let's go ahead and query. So here I have uh, data from uh, the users table. So I have the data from the user, the company that this user belongs to, and all the products of that company. So subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. If you want to learn more about our platform, you can visit our awesome community and refer to our documentation. If you have any additional questions, don't forget to leave here in the comments below. And if you're stuck, uh, you can always uh, reach out to support team via live chat within the platform. So see you in the next video.